Welcome to Research Matters with Unda and Kuda, an online show that is all about communicating the research taking place at NAS in efforts to promote the university's research agenda and the impact thereof. Great. <laughs> good morning, Kuda. How are you this morning? I am good, Unda. Always good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's getting cold, eh? Yes, it is. And I'm so fascinated by the way everybody keeps talking about the cold. We mm. cannot help but talk about how we feel Absolutely. 24-7. So we're going to go on and on and on about it. But do you, can you agree that we're shocked every year? <laughs> it's not like winter <laughs> comes and it's here every year, but we still, for some weird reason, we're like, damn, it's cold, no, eh? we're, we're desert people, <laughs> that, right? So that's we can't, true. We can't to we cannot to thrive in this winter. But nonetheless, it is exactly 15 minutes into the hour of 11 o'clock. And as you heard, it's time for Research Matters with Unda and Kuda. And of course, it's an online platform where we just talk about the research that matters right here at the Namibia University of Science and Technology. Great. And today in the house, we have Miss Tekla Amutenya. She is a secretary in the Department of Economics, Accounting and Finance, which is under the Faculty of Commerce. Tekla, we are so excited to have you here. Let's dive right into it. Who is Tekla Amutenya? Um, thank you so much, ladies, for having me. Um, like you introduced, my name is Tekla. I'm currently employed as a departmental secretary, and I'm also a PhD student. I'm there in my we final go. year. There we, go. <laughs> <laughs> we were all waiting for that part. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my final year of my PhD studies. I'm studying with the University of Western Cape. And yeah, my research is on water and sanitation, but from a local um urban local um, government perspective mm. yeah now firstly congratulations thank you right <laughs> but can you maybe just tell us briefly what motivated you to just get into the space a phd mama exactly like, <laughs> you know I'm, and i'm like you know she's going she's telling us yeah. what she's doing what it's about the project but whoa Let's How take a few did we steps get back. there? How did we get here? You know, the thing is, just you, 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 you get into a degree, and then after the degree, you feel like, no, I need to get an honors. You yeah. get an honors, you feel like, no, I need to get a masters. Yeah, and then now I'm at this PhD level. I think it's just the motivation, you know. Mm. Yeah, so that's how I ended up here. <laughs> would you? Would are you funding yourself, or is there some funding that also helped? Because I think the mo the biggest challenge for any yes. student is mm. just like, okay, I really want to do my masters, so I really want to pursue my PhD but mm. where is the money coming from exactly. so do you have that covered at least <laughs> honestly no I really um, struggled uh, finding um, funding so I had to save up a lot to mm. be able to pay for my studies I remember for my masters I had to be back and forth um, because I was part-time so um, monthly I had to go to South Africa so I had to pay like for my accommodation <laughs> And um, like flights to go to South Africa or, and whatever. So I really had to save up because sometimes you don't get a um, funding. So what do you do? You yeah. can't wait for funding, you know. So, yeah, you just have to take your own initiative and find ways and means to get your finances. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like that a lot, you know. And I think that's probably already one of the things that I can see as the takeaways from this to say, of course, yes, funding is a big thing. We mm. cannot shy away from that. But you have to look around. You have to find these resources. You have to find means and ways to get to your goal. And this is exactly where we are right now. Now, speaking about your PhD, you briefly touched on it. You, you spoke about water and sanitation. On During day, as, as we were advertising this, actually, we said secretary by day mm. and doctoral candidate by, by night. night. So by day, you're in the economics, accounting, and finance field. Mm -hmm. Then after hours, water and sanitation. Can we bridge that gap? How did we get here? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when anything starts with yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know there's a story. You know it's going to get good. Yeah, no, I mean, sometimes you really want to study, uh, but then you also have to work, right? Um, because like I said, you need to pay for your own funding. So how are you going to do that? You have no choice but to find ways, you know? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I I have a full time job. I can. There's no way I can avoid that, and that actually helps me pay for my study. So yeah, in this case, <laughs> um, I try to make it work um, because then again, I also don't have time during the day as a as a as a as a full time employee. I also have like. Um, 
side hustles that I'm doing, mm. like maybe teaching on distance. Yeah. So obviously that's a lot for me. And the only time I get is in the evening, you know, um, or even in weekends. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I have to try and prioritize my time well to be able to reach my goals. Well, if we're looking at the fields that you're in, yeah. I mean, like I like could have mentioned, you went from being a secretary in, in the economics um, sphere and now you're looking at water and sanitation mm-hmm. like how do those two fields come <laughs> to play no but the thing is um i did not do office management mm. okay. okay so um uh, but i had experience as a secretary yeah okay. yeah so um when the position was advertised <laughs> i had the experience um but i didn't have the qualifications but um I don't know so somehow somewhere yeah, <laughs> I managed yeah. yeah and also um uh, yeah I've just um managed to continue um my aligning my qualifications like mm. all my degrees are in public management but I also have like an honors in uh, business management and a postgraduate certificate in higher education yeah. <laughs> so yeah I'm um, really I did not um have any qualification in office management but yeah See, one would then think that with with that um, business management economics would be the first yeah. thing on your <laughs> mind if yeah. you're looking at it you know PhD level Mm. but somehow water mm. and sanitation mm. was the idea mm. how did that come about for you person is there more of like a deep rooted reason as to why you wanted to go into water and sanitation mm. is it important to you that mm. you know you you focused on that area mm. um the thing is um I mean, you can read about it. Um, it's in the news. It's in the newspapers. I mean, um, local government, your municipalities are really struggling to provide water and sanitation for mm. communities. Um, I have um, family members that also live in informal settlements. And... Um, uh, f- uh, I've visited informal settlements. I've seen the situation. So then when I was doing my master's, I thought, hmm... I need to look at <laughs> water and sanitation because why is uh, munis- why are municipalities struggling to provide this? Such um, a yeah, such a basic need. It's so essential, and yet they are struggling. So this is how I embarked on um, the journey on um, uh, water and sanitation, and yeah, I've continued with that to my PhD. <laughs> okay, so just to zero in a little bit more now, when we talk about public management and water and sanitation. What does your research entail, roughly? What what are you looking at? What areas, what things are you trying to solve in your current uh, research through your PhD studies? So I'm looking at um, your um, governance framework. So I'm looking at your policies, um, your regulations. Are they working? You know, Do they need to be enforced? Because I've realized that some policies are since... Um, before independence, oh, during the co- outdated yes. Yeah. yes, so those are the things I'm looking at. I'm looking at your financial perspective because um, I've seen, like, um, from my master's study, um, the biggest challenge that came from there was the fact that municipalities are challenged uh, when it comes to finances because um, a lot of people do not want to pay their debts mm. when it comes to water. Mm. Yes, so now I'm also looking at the fact of how can we create a model. For financial model that when it comes to debt management so that um, your municipalities are able to um, sustain sustain that yes and then I'm also looking at your monitoring and evaluation (laughs) you know uh, mechanism is it working you know Um, what needs to be done you know do they have M&E's in place in your municipalities and are they enforced you know and last but not least I'm looking at stakeholders involvement you know do we need to create more awareness for more stakeholders to be involved you you know your private sectors uh, you know do we need to get them involved how do we get them involved you know because really government probably says no um, we, we don't have sufficient funding or budget for your local government so then meaning private sectors and your other stakeholders need to come in and assist so those are the things I'm looking at Absolutely. Now we'll head on a quick musical break just to give that listener a chance to say, hey, but what can I ask Tekla? Mashanji, <laughs> while she's here, the, our contact number is 083 Still Research Matters with Unda and Kuda. Do stick and stay. 
Fading in the background to the sounds of Sia with Never Give Up. And like we said, the engagement is coming through on our social media platform. And this one is specifically from our Instagram page. And Mr. Clyde basically asks, what advice do you have for aspiring researchers in your space? Um, well, for me, what I'd say is first and foremost, do not give up. <laughs> I know it gets tough and sometimes it's actually a lonely journey, hey, mm-hmm. because <laughs> now you have to sacrifice your weekends, mm-hmm. your evenings and time with your family and stuff like that. But don't give up. Um, remain focused. There are also a lot of distractions. Starve your distractions, hey. Oh, <laughs> <I like that. laughs> yeah, <laughs> because sometimes really you want to party or whatever. It is. No, like stay and, uh, you know, put in the work and um, I, I believe that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Last but not least, I'd just like to say that um, don't compare your situation to other people because I have people that tell me, oh my gosh Tecla, you're a secretary and you have a PhD and you know um, uh, why are you still in that <laughs> position? You know, you're supposed to be somewhere. Yeah. But obviously um, my situation is not the same with your situation. My life is different. So yeah um, and by the way, who says that you have have to wait for employment you know people can take away a lot but they can never take away your knowledge you know what i mean yeah so um come up with your own consulting company or whatever it is Mm -hmm. and by the way sometimes continue working on your skills and your qualifications because you never know one day a, 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 a vacancy might come up or an opportunity might come up let it find you with you know all your qualifications and all your skills you know rather than not having it and then something comes up you know what i mean that yeah. reminds me that just brought to mind something i heard um not too long ago that said you know you're praying for so much you're campaigning for so much but when that thing that next position comes that next big thing actually comes are you ready are you ready for it to, to receive it well? Mm-hmm. So I can see you're definitely doing the groundwork. Now, talking about, you know, your current um, career path and your current job and where you're headed and so forth. You also mentioned earlier on, if you can just take a few steps back, you mentioned that you did a postgraduate diploma in higher education. How are you making use of that? And you also mentioned distance um, teaching. Tell us about that. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> um, I did the PGCHE, uh, that's a postgraduate certificate in higher education. I think it was 2021, graduated last year. Um, so yeah, um, I did um, currently or currently I'm now teaching on distance and I realized that it's, it actually came in handy <laughs> because I have to now teach on or I have to make use of e-learning, you know, a lot of this um, uh, uh, skills that are needed that I did not have before. So it actually did come in handy and yeah, um, just, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. What are, you t- what are you teaching? Just to elaborate on that. Um, current. I'm currently, <laughs> I'm currently um, teaching Introduction to Public Management to first-year students. Okay. So when all of this is done and dusted, yeah, mm-hmm. what is the difference that you hope to have achieved? If you look back at the society that you're in or that you came from, what would you have hoped to achieve? Or what difference would you have wanted to make? Say when you're done. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, my PhD is done and everything. What contribution? What do you want to add to the body of knowledge? Mm. Um, yeah, I want to publish. <laughs> Definitely um, bring more awareness to water and sanitation. And not only water and sanitation. I mean, I've also done a research when it comes to um, sustainable sustainability in terms of like maybe um, business models. Um, last year I went to Germany um, for a research project. Um, I think it was a six months uh, research project. And also just to be able to collaborate because I col- it was a NAST and RVT High University collaboration, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, I want to do a lot of collaborations with other um, lecturers as well or other knowledge expert um, uh, experts from you know different fields let's collaborate especially this you know what's so interesting is when it comes to water and um, sanitation when I was collecting data for my PhD people will always ask me but are you doing engineering <laughs> are you doing science you know yes. but people don't understand that science and um, governance need to work together because your scientists can come up with innovative 
creative ideas or solutions but who are the people implementing this you know so yeah i would want to collaborate with people from the science field so that we can talk about science and policies and how we can bring it all together yeah i was just about to say amen because <laughs> <laughs> because that's specifically my field as well when it comes to science communication now you talked a little bit about publications now you cannot not talk about publications when you're talking about researchers how are you doing in that space what are you aspiring to do when it comes to publications um currently i'm working on a few papers with a few colleagues and a few classmates <laughs> so yeah um uh, it, it's still a work in progress mm. and yeah hopefully before the end of this year we could probably get maybe three or four papers out <laughs> mm. let's put that out in the universe <laughs> exactly <laughs> amen <laughs> <laughs> all right but that brings us to the end of research matters with unda and kuda now you know we do this every second tuesday and you know where to log on that's www www.nastefm.na but of course for more details you can also check out that is the research innovation and partnerships at nast uh, that is pages that is facebook and linkedin and the nastefm facebook instagram and twitter pages as well and right now we have podcasts that are available on the nast youtube page as well so you just go to youtube type nast and those podcasts will pop up of course this brings us to the end of research matters but we have one more request by our guest this morning and this is titled when you believe by Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey do stick and stay to nastfm because we remain with reinventing sound <laughs>